Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets. Now yeah, bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we got some concerning news, and these are the types of news stories that are going to keep coming out and coming out and coming out. So I want you to be prepared for what's about to happen. So first up, critics claim Tesla should sell Bitcoin position. Electric vehicle firms share down 30% since buying. So we'll take a look at what is hype and what is reality and the uh, numerous news sources that you're going to hear about as far as calling for these huge institutions and corporations to sell their Bitcoin. So we'll take a look at that on top of, I need to talk to you about CryptoTrader.tax and my uh, unbelievable 2,825, what's called missing cost basis detected, which uh, put me through a loop for over two weeks. And I don't want you to fall into this as you're uh, scheduling your taxes. And finally, I just wanna to talk to you real quick about the HODLer uh, mentality and uh, what you need to do as far as get yourself uh, mentally prepared for the tough road ahead. So we'll take a look at all those things. But first, let's take a look at what's going on in the markets. Uh, first of all, let me blow this up so you can see what the heck I'm talking about. And uh, here we are. So today it is uh, up, 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 March 8th, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, Houston, Texas time, still in the uh, new rental property, fixing it up, should be done by this week. And then off we go. So what do we have today? Well, uh, over the weekend, Sunday saw a heck of a rally, and I think it was because of India came out and said that they will not be banning cryptocurrency digital assets. The prime minister, she, which some a lot of people uh, corrected me, it is a she. Okay, great, it's a she. But uh, the picture I saw was just a bunch of guys, so whatever. Uh, she came out and said, look, we're not going to ban anything. It's not going to be as uh, awful as you might think and we're gonna to work together uh, with these uh, central banks to come to a conclusion. So some people have said, well, oh, well, it's not that much and it's not what they're gonna think, but look, it's a step in the right direction. They didn't just come out and said, hey, we're gonna straight ban it, which would really suck for uh, 1.2 billion people in India uh, because they want to actually trade uh, digital assets. So that is a positive. So what do we have? So uh, for the market cap right now, you're looking at uh, almost a trillion market cap for Bitcoin alone, this 949.52. And we're up to 51,000. So that's pretty great. I mean, we'll take uh, we'll, we'll take it. It's not the 58,000 all-time high that we had seen, but uh, hey, right around the corner. Uh, Ethereum, uh, 1743, a little bit of a bump after that, uh, uh, the Ethereum improvement uh, proposal, uh, 1559, that came to effect where they're going to uh, pretty much make fees a little bit lower. Uh, but again, in the video yesterday, we talked about this. It's going to do well, but it's not going to do that great. They need to do a lot of things with uh, scaling and everything else. I'm hopeful because uh, I own a lot of Ethereum, <laughs> so that would be great. Now, and one more thing before I go on, just so you know, uh, I am uh, what is called uh, biased to all the different things we talk about here. If I'm talking about a project, it's probably because I own it. And uh, that's just it. I know some people will say, oh, I'm not biased, but whatever. If you have, if you're talking about Bitcoin a lot, because you got a lot of Bitcoin. You're talking about Ethereum and Cardano and uh, Chainlink and Theta like me, probably because you got a lot of that. And that's just the truth. So that's just what it is. Anyhow, so going forward, Tether's Tether, nobody really cares. Good for them. Binance Coin, hey, in that fourth spot. Um, you know, Cardano was up there, but of course it slipped down for whatever reason. Nothing but great news, whatever. Polkadot, uh, down a little bit in 24 hours, but last hour, pretty good. Let's see, what... Here's what I really care about. What's gone up a ton? Well, Uniswap did. If you held for Uniswap all this way, remember it was a 400 token airdrop. Uh, congratulations, because you're up bigly, almost $33. I think Uniswap could do great if they do what PancakeSwap is gonna do, which is uh, allow for the Binance Smart Chain. So you, they can use Ethereum ERC20 tokens to pay for gas, or sorry, excuse me, Ethereum to pay for gas, or they can use the uh, Binance Chain. If Uniswap switches over from from that to Binance chain to a lot of different uh, protocols. I mean, Uniswap will go with the roof. It'll be easily top five. Let's we'll see if uh, that happens. Chainlink uh, up bigly, uh, another partnership announced because they're doing that every single day, it seems like. Bitcoin Cash up a percentage. Yeah, well, Dogecoin, oh, this is funny. So Dogecoin is up 10% in 24 hours. Why? I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, it's because they have, and I, I, I put this in Twitter, Doge is up 10% because of strong fundamentals, a fantastic team working 24 seven, and a uh, very detailed roadmap that was just released that goes over the 10 year history and where they're gonna go in 10 years. <laughs> just kidding. There's no reason why Dogecoin is up, it's just up. Maybe it was a tweet from Elon. I have no idea, it's just up 10%. Uh, probably because people are talking about it. 
Remember, just take a look at the fundamentals and what's going on. Has, has much changed with Dogecoin? No, not really. Just uh, is what it is. All right. Ave, a big theta is one of the bigger ones, 10%. Uh, Remember, they just uh, formed a, not formed a partnership, but Sony is one of their validators on top of uh, Google, on top of Gumi or Gummy, however you say it. And uh, they've got a lot of great people lined up. They're not competing with YouTube for uh, for bandwidth, they're actually uh, working in conjunction with them because they have Google as a validator. So if you got into Theta early, congratulations, like I talked about, it's great. Again, one of my holds. VeChain up, 10% for Raptera, that's going to be huge, Mike Novogratz's thing. Tezos up 12% in the partnership I think was announced, and that's about it. So let's take a look at the uh, <clears throat> at the sentiment over the next hour and see what's going to uh, really pop for all you traders out there. Uh, I'm not one of those. Uh, next, I don't know what that is. Curve Dow, uh, and if you're taking a look at this one hour projected range, this is the high, this is the low, and uh, the middle part, that's with 90% assurance, that's from Trade the Chain. You can check that out in the description. Uh, Ocean Protocol, oh, those, I remember this one. Wan Chain, uh, one that Ian was always talking about, it's finally getting going. And then Chili's up again, 7%, uh, European uh, type of uh, uh, rebates or uh, cards for uh, sports affiliation, stuff like that, so good for them. All right, that's what's going on in the market. Let's just go into today's top story, huh? All right. So today, these are the types of stories you're going to see a lot as we move forward uh, in progression as far as uh, corporations, institutions buying a ton of Bitcoin. So this one talks about cr critics claim Tesla should sell Bitcoin position as electric vehicle firms share down 30% since buying. So when you read this, you're looking at going, oh, well, it's down because Bitcoin's down. And that's the only reason. That's not the reason. That's not the only reason. That's part of the reason. But uh, just be aware. So what's going on here? Well, after Tesla announced the world that there was $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin on its balance sheet, the price of Bitcoin shot up considerably that day. And that was around February 7th, February 8th. Someone checked me in the comments, but it was around that time. On social media forums, critics and even lawyers have called out companies like Tesla for making such decisions. Tesla shares have not fared so well since the purchase even though the firm did profit nicely from the Bitcoin value increase. So um, I'll get to it in a second. And this was just from some random, uh, this is from, uh, who is this? Imagine the positive momentum Tesla would create. Somebody tweeted, if they announced the sale of their Bitcoin position and authorized a Tesla stock buyback instead. And the rest is just boring. I almost fell asleep. So here's the thing. I, I just want you to notice uh, a couple of things. First of all, uh, Tesla stock went down because Bitcoin went down. It's true. That's not the only reason. It, part of the reason is there was a shutdown for their Model 3s or Model Xs, one of those two. There was a, a problem with um, getting parts and um, uh, different things that they needed for, for, for the production line. So that's one. And then there's been some volatility for uh, as they were moving from uh, their California plant to their Texas plant. So that's, that's another thing. And then uh, another part is that, yes, uh, Bitcoin went down and they had a lot, of, a lot of it on there. So when people start to talk about, oh, they should sell their Bitcoin and they should do a buyback or whatever else it is, you have to understand when people hear that, when people who aren't in our space, they're going to look at this and go, see, I told you Bitcoin was nothing. Bitcoin was bad and people are going to sell off. And that's kind of what happened. So it's like it's like a reoccurring event. So. One person, you know, you, you have some kind of an event over here where Bitcoin sells off for whatever stupid reason. India says again they're going to ban Bitcoin, right? So a lot of investors are like, oh, that's like a billion people we want to get out. And then uh, so then that happens. And then the stock price for MicroStrategy, for maybe even a mass mutual, I don't know, uh, for a Tesla, all these big institutions that have bought Bitcoin starts to tumble. And then people just start to sell off. It's just like a flywheel effect in reverse. If you listen to Alex Mashinsky over at Celsius. So you have to be aware this is what's going to happen more and more and more as time goes on. So just be aware of what's happening. So the real question then is what the heck is going on with the stock price? Well, if we take a look at Tesla stock right now. This it was around February 8th, 7th or 8th, when they announced that they were going to be buying Bitcoin. And if you take a look at this, it's not like there was a big push. It was already up all the way back in, and actually I think it was a little bit higher, uh, January 8th. Uh, this is for you know Tesla stock. So if you take a look at what's going on here, well, they've had some pretty great runs. I mean, from all the way back to November 2020, 
October 29th, it was 410. Now we're shooting up to 816, 880, and at some point we're gonna hit 1,000. And then from here, we just see it kind of just tumble down. What happened? Well, is it Bitcoin? Well, no, I mean, it's the things we talked about, but I also want to make mention of this. See this market cap right here? Let me see if I can blow this up. Bup, bup, bup. Yeah. See this market cap right here? $573 billion. It's a lot of money. Right? It's a lot of market cap. So how does that compare to, oh, I don't know, other big names in the automobile industry? Well, if you take a look at Tesla, it's 573. The next closest one is Toyota, and they are enormous at 206 billion. Volkswagen, 122. Uh, Daimler, Chrysler, uh, Mercedes Benz, 991. GM, 77. By BMW. So probably the closest five or six really does encompass all of uh, Tesla's market cap. So is this overbought? Is this overvalued? Potentially. And I think a lot of people took a look at this and go, you know what, time to get out. Uh, there's only so high we can go. And then what they're going to do is they're going to see, well, as everything tumbles down, and then there's news stories over here where they talk about it's all because of Bitcoin. Then, of course, they are like, oh, well, I'll just blame it on Bitcoin. I'll just keep selling and then no big deal because they know it's going to go down because of more stories. And that's what I talk about. News moves not only this market, but the traditional market. So if you have some type of integration where you can figure out what the latest and greatest news are, you're going to be a winner. Anyhow, that's what's going on. But lastly, I want to finish up with this. Let's take a look at MicroStrategy real quick, shall we? And this is the last five days. And I'm going to pull a ditty. I like using that one, where he says, when in doubt, zoom out. So we're looking at five days. You're like, oh, man, this kind of sucks. What happened here? Well, let's take a look at a month. And let's take a look at, ooh, what's this? February 9th. When was MicroStrategy's first purchase of Bitcoin? Well, it was August 11th. Second purchase, September 14th, third, December 21st, and February 24th. I think there was one more in between there as well. But if we take a look at uh, here for one month, we'll take a look at six months. So all the way back in August, which is even doesn't even read. Let me go back a, a year. The first time that it was purchased was right around here when the stock price was 123. No one, MicroStrategy has been, has been trading pretty flat for quite a long time. Let's take a look at five years. A little bit higher here, but mostly flat. So if you take a look at this, here's Bitcoin, meteoric rise, and when I'll probably want right up to here, and then it kind of goes down. I think MicroStrategy is a lot more closely correlated uh, to Bitcoin than Tesla is because MicroStrategy is just a data analytics firm. And if you listen to my man Ryan Gorman, the only thing they do really great is uh, scrape data from Facebook, and that's the big thing. But they have been trading pretty sideways as opposed to take a look at Tesla. Let's take a look at her year. It's just gone up and up and up. And of course, it was overvalued. Here we go. So when these stories come out, I don't want you to be uh, flabbergasted and be like, oh, I got to sell my Bitcoin now because these institutions are going to sell. They will sell. They will sell. But they're not going to all just get together, you know, like at this one big crux moment and go, let's just get out of it all, you know, all at once. I think it will happen if you pay attention to the four-year cycles I'm always talking about. But for these types of FUD articles, they're not really FUD. There is a little bit of a reality to it. Just be aware this is what's going on and not everybody has all the answers. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's finish up with our last two pieces.